Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate a new feature in Oracle Analytics Cloud that allows an administrator to translate custom strings in workbooks. Let's take this workbook as an example. So I have one canvas which shows me a stacked bar chart and you can see that I've provided a custom visualization title and I've also added a visualization filter and I've provided a custom label name for the vis filter. Let me walk you through the steps to translate the custom strings in this visualization to different languages that the product currents support. In our example, we are going to translate the custom strings from English to French language. So I'm going to exit out of the workbook. And because I logged in as administrator user, I have access to my console. So let's navigate to the console and the admin user can now see a new translation style. So let's open up the translation style. The tile provides two new options for the administrator user. One is to export content of a shared folder. And then another option is to import the translated file in a zip format. Now let's go to the export tab of this tile and scroll down and select the folder that has the, the sample workbook. So I'm going to select and on the top right hand corner, I'm going to click on export that is going to kick off the export process. And it is now exporting the content of the workbooks and the artifacts within the shared folder into a format called captions. And I'm going to save that in my download section within a folder called captions. So let me save it there. Here's my terminal. So I'm just going to go to the downloads folder and I'll move, navigate to the captions folder. And let's uh, list down the files. You can see that the captions.zip file is there. So I'm going to use an unzip command. So I've used unzip command to basically unzip the content of the captions.zip file. And you can see that there is a folder for every single language that the pro product supports. Now in my example, I want to do the translations for the French language. So I'm going to select the path for slash fr that has the captions.js file. And let me copy this uh, path and, uh, and then I'll open up this file in a VI editor format. So I'm going to paste escape text and let's open it up. And you can see that the content of the visualization definition is now in the captions.js file for the French language. So in our example, our visualization is in Canvas 2 and the custom strings that we want to translate is the WIS title, which is sales performance by product category. And then the custom label for the visualization filter, which is select a customer segment. So let me, I have basically deleted the text for the WIS title and the filter label from English. And I have used Google Translate to get the translated text for French language. And I've pasted the values in the respective uh, sections of this uh, captions file. So let me go ahead and save this file. And we'll exit out of it. So I've used a zip command to basically zip the content into a translated.zip file, which you can see is now appearing on my uh, download captions folder. Now let's go back to the console, open up the translation style, and uh, we'll go to the import tab, and we'll drop the translated.zip file into the import section and start the import process. And at this point, it's going to um, import the zip file that has the translated content and we'll wait for the confirmation message which is uh, completed successfully. Before I open up the workbook I want to change the default locale in my Chrome browser to be a French. You can see that I've added French to my preferred language section of my Chrome browser. So I'm going to move French to the top that way French becomes my default language locale or the preferred language in the browser setting to determine and figure out if there is translated text for custom strings in a workbook available in the instance. And if it is, then it's going to use that translated text to display it on the UI. Now let's go ahead and open up the workbook. I'm on the OEC homepage and you can see that because of the browser's uh, French language is the default, the product is using that language to translate the strings uh, in the product to French language. But in our example, we want to see if the custom strings in the workbook is now translated to French language. So let's go ahead and open up the workbook. And you will see that the WIS title and the filter, the visualization filter title is now translated to the French language. Thank you for watching this video.